Hey everyone, if you're new, my name is Amanda. I'm a professional makeup artist and today I'm gonna to be reviewing Yuka approved clean makeup products. And let me tell you, this was difficult for me to round up a full face of clean products. And I have a pretty extensive makeup collection, a good mixture of like mainstream and clean. And a lot of the clean products were not clean according to Yuka and actually contained toxic ingredients. The whole process of trying to find this full face of makeup that I'm wearing on my face took me a while and some of these products really surprised me. So stay tuned for all of that. But before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the bell notification. If you want to connect with me on Instagram, I post there every single day. My info is going to be listed below as well as my TikTok. I would love for you to join me there. But yeah, let's get into this clean makeup review. So I actually decided to start with skincare today just because I've been really making it a priority to use clean skincare. I haven't really dove into the makeup realm yet because like I said, it's alarming how many ingredients in our makeup is not clean. Like I would literally have to get rid of my whole makeup kit, pretty much every piece of makeup I own except for like these that I'm showing you today um, if I wanted to stick to like Yuka approved only products. So it's crazy, but let's dive into the skincare. This is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray on Serum and I've been using this for a while now, at least a few weeks, and I really like this. This has an excellent rating on Yuka, so I usually just shake it up and spray it on my face. I like to really get a good amount on my skin and then I just let it soak in. I have bare skin right now. I do have a little bit of lip liner on my lips because I thought it would be a good idea to bite my lips right before filming. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Horrible habit. Have any of you overcome this habit and how did you do it? Because I've been doing this since I was a child and I hate it. I hate picking. I'm such a picker. Really want to get over it. So please comment down below if you have any recommendations for me. Thanks. <laughs> While that's sinking in, I'm going to apply some eye serum. This is the Hydropeptide Vital Eyes Instant Awakening Serum. I love this eye serum. I've been using it for weeks and weeks and I actually didn't know it was so clean. I think both of the products I just mentioned have like 100% on Yuka, so I was so pleasantly surprised to learn that. This serum is very lightweight, wears under makeup, so, so nice. I feel like it does do a good job of kind of smoothing the under eye area. And I really like the metal applicator. It really helps kind of decompress my eyes, especially in the morning. That cool metal on my eyes feels so good. So I'll usually just rotate it one time to get a little bit of product. And I will actually apply that for both eyes. I mainly focus on my under eye bags, but I will take whatever is left over on my lids. Oh, it feels so good. That metal is always so nice and cool. I look forward to this every morning. I love it. And I'll just massage that into the skin ever so softly just to really make sure it sinks in really well. For moisturizer, I'm going to use this Josie Marin Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. So I recently got into Josie Marin and I am obsessed. I use her um, body butter might be too much, but we'll see. I just rub my hands together and then start to press that in. But like I was saying, I use her body butter and it is oh, so good. It smells so amazing. It's vanilla scented. It absorbs into the body so nicely. I'm gonna link it down below, even though I'm not using it in this video. It is so good. I highly recommend it for summertime. I'm literally gonna be using it every single day for the rest of summer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my base. And I will say, I'm only going based on Yuka. So if these products are not clean according to other apps or other kind of standards, I'm literally just going by Yuka. And I was surprised by some of this too. So without further ado, the first product that I'm going to use that is actually, I think, excellent on Yuka, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I'm in the shade One Fair. And yeah, I was kind of going through my primers and I was like, wow, 
None of my primers are clean, that kind of sucks. But then, I don't know why, in the back of my mind, I was like, let's try the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I was not expecting it to be clean, but it was clean. So, how about that? I'm just gonna start by applying that all over my cheeks. I usually just focus it on the cheek area and a little bit on the forehead. And then I kind of leave the rest just because I don't want to be shiny everywhere. I'm just gonna take a foundation brush and start to blend that in. It gives me a little bit of color to my face, which I really, really appreciate, but not too much. It's still pretty much matching my skin tone, but it just kind of makes me look a little bit more sun-kissed and obviously gives a really beautiful glow. So very happy that this is Yuka approved. Moving on to foundation. I've been using this foundation for a long time. This is my favorite clean foundation. I love it. This is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation and it has an SPF of 25. So again, I've been really reaching for this this summer. It does a really good job of giving coverage but keeping the skin looking like skin. It's got a little bit of a juicy, dewy finish which I do not mind at all. So this is about a pump of that foundation. Honestly, I usually can get away with half a pump, so keep that in mind. I'm just going in with that foundation brush and I'm going to start to tap that, really melting it into my skin. I don't know if I would say this is a long wearing foundation, but it wears really nicely throughout the day. I wouldn't necessarily reach for this if I was going to be in like kind of extreme heat or extreme conditions and needed my makeup to last like 12 hours. So for like a long day on set or something, I don't know if this would be the one that I would go to, but it's a very good foundation. And especially for every day, this is like my go-to. So again, another great product from Kosas. This is their Revealer Concealer and I'm in the shade 0.5N. They did a really great job with their Revealer line. I think they just really, really killed it. They should be really proud of this formulation. I'm a huge, huge fan. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that everywhere that I feel needs it under my eye. This is a really good under eye concealer, you guys. This actually, I would say lasts a very long time. I've talked about this before on my channel and something I love about it is that I don't really feel like I have to powder it, which is kind of crazy because I'm a big powder girl. I usually always powder under my eyes, but with this, I don't really feel the need to, especially on a natural, kind of no makeup makeup day. I've left this without powder and it looks good and I've worn it for a long time. I love that this doesn't sink into my fine lines like other concealers do. And I'm just gonna blend this concealer out with my Hourglass Concealer Brush, which is my favorite concealer brush, you guys. I love this brush so much. I will never <laughs> stop using it. I feel like it's just the best. It's completely replaced my beauty blender. Love it. So while I'm blending out my concealer, I kind of figured I would explain the Yuka app for those of you who don't know what it is. It's a really great app. I highly recommend you download it if you're into clean makeup, which I assume you are if you're watching this video. But yeah, essentially what it is, it's a database that users just submit a ton of different makeup and food products. If you're into food, clean food as well. Clean food, I don't know if it's healthy food, organic, I don't know, whatever. If you're into good ingredients and things, get the Yuka app. <laughs> but yeah, so you can submit different products and the app will analyze the ingredients and categorize them into different categories, whether it's bad, good, excellent, whatever. Um, and then it'll list the ingredients and why it's a risk or why it's not a risk. And it'll also categorize them into like carcinogenic, potential, endocrine disruptor, irritant, allergy, whatever. There's a ton of different categories. Um, but yeah, I found it really, really helpful. Again, I'm still kind of new to it, so I'm not exactly an expert <laughs> by any means. But yeah, I do find it really, really helpful. There's another app called Think Dirty and I, I don't like that one as much. I think Yuka is harsher than Think Dirty, which I like, but yeah, Think Dirty is just harder to navigate in my opinion. Like searching up a product is really hard. I can never find the product that I'm searching for. Whereas on Yuka, I search the product and it comes up immediately 
It's just a bit more user friendly, but Think Dirty is a little bit more aesthetic and modern. So whatever is more important to you, they both do roughly the same thing. But I noticed that some products that got a pass on Think Dirty did not get a pass on Yucca. And I kind of looked into the ingredients that didn't get a pass on Yucca and did get a pass on Think Dirty. And I was like, why did this ingredient get a pass? This is like a carcinogen potential, but on Think Dirty, it was clean. I'm sure some ingredients in certain concentrations are less harmful or more harmful depending on the concentration. But again, it's really hard to know what concentration of an ingredient is in a product because a lot of the time it's not disclosed. So I would rather play it safe and go with a more harsh rating system than be a little bit more loose with these ingredients that could potentially be toxic, like literally cancer causing, hormone disrupting, disease causing, like it's just, it's bad. And I feel like a lot of people overlook it. I am one of those people. I use products that aren't clean, but I really want to start being more mindful of the products that I use because especially with this experience, trying to find clean products that are excellent on Yucca was really hard. And I have a lot of clean products, so I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to dive into a whole new world of beauty. It's crazy. Do you guys care about this stuff? Because I don't know, I'm starting to care about it more. And maybe it's just an age thing as I'm getting older, but it just seems like a no brainer to use products that are clean, right? Anyways, I am rambling a little bit, but moving forward into bronzer, I'm using the Say Sun Melt in the shade Fair Bronze. And I have been obsessed with this bronzer since I got it. I love this formulation. I love the shade range. I just think it's so beautiful, blendable, clean. I just love it. I'm using this Makeup Forever 109 Wavy Brush. This is such a good brush in combination with this bronzer. This bronzer is super forgiving. I can pick up a ton of it and it just melts right into the skin. The name is so good, Sun Melt. It just melts and gives you the most beautiful sun-kissed glow. This is the easiest cream bronzer to blend out of any cream bronzer that I've ever tried. So that's saying a lot. What I love about this is I feel like it really speeds up my makeup routine because I'm not spending so much time blending my contour. It just melts into my skin and it's just the easiest, easiest product to apply. So now I'm going in with blush and this is honestly one of my favorite blushes ever. And when I found out this has an excellent rating, I was so happy because I think I'm gonna buy every color now. I don't really need any other cream blushes as long as I have these. This one in particular is the Say Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. This is just the prettiest color. If you have fair skin, this gives you such a natural, rosy, blushy look. I'll show you guys. So this stuff is very pigmented, I would say. A little less pigmented than the Rare Beauty. It's a little, it's a little easier to use, a little more forgiving but I would say this stuff lasts a good amount of time. Probably more of a long wearing product than anything I have on my face right now, which I really appreciate. But yeah, I didn't really apply too much of that to my face, but just watch how easily this blends out and how beautiful this shade is. Ugh, I just love it. This looks like such a natural flush to the face. Like I spent some time in the sun, Got some blood flow to the cheeks. Ugh, so beautiful. Okay, so the base is really coming together. I'm looking a little bit shiny, so I am gonna go in with powder. This is the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Airy, and I actually haven't used this that much. I'm still kind of deciding whether I like it or not. I really love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder, which actually also has a good rating on Yucca. I was really shocked but I don't know where it is right now. It's kind of like MIA, which is weird because I use it like every day, but we're gonna test out this Kosas powder today and see what we think. I'm gonna set under my eyes. I applied a little bit too much of that concealer, so I just kind of wanna help it out a little bit, set it in place. This powder isn't the most mattifying powder ever. I would say it's just more of a satin powder, if that makes sense. However, as I'm applying it right now, it is doing a good job of really blurring that under eye area. 
I do prefer a more matte powder for under my eyes. I'm still getting some light reflecting on that. But what do you guys think? It looks pretty nice. I'm going to powder my smile lines a little bit here. I'm gonna powder my chin. I'm gonna powder my forehead specifically kind of in between my brows. And then I'm going to just diffuse that up around the forehead a little bit. So yeah, that did cut down the shine a little bit. My skin is still glowy, so it does have a satin finish. I didn't put powder all over, just kind of in the centers of my face. But my preference for under eyes especially is really just matte and maybe a little bit more coverage than this powder gives. But overall, not mad at it. Definitely for a certain type of person, if you don't like a really matte look and you want your skin to look more natural, this might be a really good powder for you. I'm going to go in with some powder bronzer now. I think I'm gonna go with the NARS Laguna bronzing powder. This surprisingly got a clean rating on Yuka, but another bronzer I wanted to talk about that I noticed had a clean rating is this Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer. This is their pressed bronzer in the shade Vitamin D. Both of these are really nice bronzers. This one by Jaclyn smells really good. It smells like, it just smells like summer. I do really like this one. It's a little bit on the dark side for me, so I'm gonna wait until I get a little bit more sun or until I fake tan. So today I'm using the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna 00, just a really good bronzer for fair skin. Taking that bronzer on a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna start applying that to the outskirts of my face. Really just focusing on that outer perimeter, giving me more of a sun-kissed look and also kind of just setting that cream powder in place to help it last a little bit longer throughout the day. All right, you guys, it was really difficult to find a eyeshadow palette that was clean, which I'm kind of surprised. At least Yuka approved. There was like none except for this Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick. I guess these are clean according to Yuka, which I was very happy with because I actually love this palette. This is pretty much everything that I need for an everyday look. So I'm going to dive in. I'm just gonna do a really light, simple eye look. I'm just gonna take that lightest kind of transition shade for me and I'm going to start diffusing that through my crease. If you have fair skin like me, this transition shade is so natural and beautiful. I just really love it. A lot of transition shades can be a little bit intense on me, a little bit harsh, but this one just melts right into the skin and looks like a natural shadow. Look at how easy it is to blend these shadows. So gorgeous. I'm just gonna run that same shade on my lower lash line as well. Again, just for a little bit of definition. And now I'm just gonna take that slightly pink color in this palette and apply it all over my lid. This is a very light satin shade. There's like a little bit of shimmer, but it's hardly noticeable. It just catches the light really beautifully. I'm gonna drag that on my lower lash line as well, just to kind of smoke it and smudge it out and blend it with that light transition color we applied earlier. Honestly, I couldn't find a clean liner in my collection, which was really sad. But honestly, it's fine because with this palette, the darkest shade in the palette actually works really good as liner. I've done it a lot. This is actually one of my go-to shades for a shadow liner. I'll show you what it looks like. It's so beautiful. So I just grab a little angled brush and I start mapping out that wing. I'm gonna move on to lashes. So I'm gonna give my lashes a little curl. It was also hard to find a clean mascara, so I'm excited to kind of try this one out again. This is the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. I used to talk about the brow gel that's essentially an extension of this kind of serum infused kind of line, and I really loved it. I have used this mascara a few times, but I just didn't make it a part of my routine, my go-to products. So I'm gonna try it out again today and give it a fair shot. Yeah, I was shocked. A lot of clean mascaras I have did not get the Yuka approval. So that was kind of disappointing. I was really hoping the Tower 28 Make Waves mascara would make it on there, but it didn't get the approval. Aww. But 
I do kind of take the yuca ratings with a grain of salt at this point because I'm not super educated about ingredients. I'm definitely gonna start actively educating myself on this stuff just so I can be more like independent in analyzing ingredients instead of re relying on an app. But for now, yuca is really great. Okay, so this is like one and a half or like two really light coats. And this is building up really nicely. There are no clumps at all. I think it did a really good job of lengthening. We can use a little bit more volume on the ends. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. I think the whole idea with this mascara is that it's actually good for your lashes. Like there's growth serum infused in it or something like that, which I'm into. If I can wear makeup that is benefiting my skin and lashes while I'm wearing it, that's so awesome. All right, so that's both eyes done. I'm really not mad about it. I think it's pretty nice. Definitely more on the natural side, more on the lengthening side. Me personally, this mascara does not fit into what I look for in a mascara, just in terms of like lengthening mascara, I usually like a little bit of volume. Um, and then the brush as well. I usually like a curved brush. So on paper, this isn't really something I would reach to, but I had this in my collection and it's clean and I'm pleasantly surprised. It's really not bad and my eyes aren't at risk of coming in contact with toxic ingredients. So I think that's worth a little sacrifice at least. Moving on, I'm gonna do brows. This is the Victoria Beckham Baby Blade Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I have tried this a few times. I like it. It is just a little bit like too pigmented for me. If you really like a pigmented brow pencil, you will love this. It really gives you so much color payoff. But for me, I kind of like a little bit of soft, natural brows. I'm gonna brush my brows up using the spoolie side. I'm gonna focus that on the tail of my brow and I'm just gonna start again using such a light hand, filling in that brow. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can really see that there's a lot of pigment in this brow pencil. Sometimes I'll just go in with a little bit of concealer just tidy up those edges if there's any smudges. And I do fill in the front of my brow here a little bit too. Just really light-handed hair-like strokes. Okay, brows are filled. I'm gonna set them with a little bit of brow gel. This is one of my favorite brow gels. So again, very happy. This one got Yuka approved. This is the Kosas Air Brow. I'm almost out of this. It's pretty much empty, so I really need to buy a new one, but I'm gonna use this to set my brows. This gel lasts all day. I love the brush. It really just shapes the brows, gets every single hair. I honestly can't say enough good things about this. This is my all-time favorite clear brow gel. So I do have a little bit of liner on, like I mentioned earlier, but I'm gonna go in with this liner here. This is the One Liner Multi Liner in the shade Work of Art. These were clean and I couldn't find very many clean lip liners either. So it was a little bit difficult, but I do love this liner. I really like the shade Fill Me In as well. It's a little bit more pink. I have both of them right here. This one's a little more pink. This one's a little more brown. And so I'm gonna go with the brown one today. I'm just slightly overlining. I really think this color is a very universally flattering color. It's just a nice soft brown. Okay, so it was actually really hard to find lipsticks as well. I was having so much troubles. A lot of the lipsticks that I thought were clean turned out to be toxic. So yeah, I have this one by Ilya. I've never tried it before. This is their Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. I have the shade Hold Me. I don't think this one got an excellent rating on Yuka, but I think it got a good rating. So we're gonna have to just go with it today. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color, kind of a warm, rosy shade to match the cheeks. So I'm gonna go right onto the lips. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I'm kind of focusing it in the inner parts of my lip. That is a really pretty lip balm. It feels very hydrating. I love this scent, it smells amazing. So I actually have two lip glosses that got an excellent rating on Yuka. I'm kind of torn between the two. So I have the Kosas Wet Lip Glosses. This one specifically is in the shade 
jellyfish. I haven't actually used this yet, but I feel like it's changed color in the tube. It used to be kind of like a pinky clear color, but now it's like yellow. But on the other hand, I have this one by Ilya. Again, this is their Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. And I really like this. This is a really good product. I have used this a few times and I'm obsessed. The color is so beautiful. I think because we used so much Kosas today, I'm actually gonna go with the Ilya Lip Oil. Plus, you guys get to see this color in action. It's so pretty. You can wear this on its own too, because it's quite pigmented. I like the applicator, it's very precise. So to finish off the look, I'm going in with this highlighter. I've used some of their other shades and I'm in love with this product. I really can't say enough good things, but I'm trying out the shade for the first time. This is the Say Glow Sculpt Multi-Use Cream Highlighting Blush. It says it's a blush, but I use it as a highlighter. I'm using the shade Quartz Glow and I've never tried this one yet. These come in more pinky shades for blush. I think they even have a bronzy shade. And let me tell you, this formula is just such a dream. It's a clean formula, glides onto the face, gives the most beautiful glow. I'm going with this Say double-sided brush and just picking up a little bit of that highlighter and I'm placing that on the high points of my cheeks. I'm honestly like a little bit shiny, a little too shiny for my liking, but I didn't want to skip on this step. So I'm applying highlighter. I'm going to apply a little bit of that in my inner corner as well. All right, and that is it for today's look. What do you guys think? This is just a really simple, easy, everyday look using products that you can feel good about using. They have the Yuka approval and Yuka is very strict. It is hard to find products that get the Yuka approval. Trust me, I have a lot of makeup and 90% of them it did not make the cut. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Please give me your recommendations for any clean makeup products that are Yuka approved that you think I should try. I read every comment and they make my day. I love interacting with you guys and it really feels like I'm growing a solid community here on YouTube. So with that being said, don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos that I post. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.